Hello to the McGill community. This is Chris Buttle, Associate Provost at McGill. It's a new week here, and again, a new reality is really sinking in for everybody. We're constantly adjusting of new news and new information that keeps coming. A lot has happened since last Friday. You will have received messages about calling off our spring convocation, but also news about a member of our community confirmed to have COVID-19 diagnosis. We also received yesterday official word from the Quebec government about the fact that educational institutions will indeed be cancelled for in-person instruction through until May. We're already, of course, moving to making sure that all of our courses are available remotely. But again, all these new pieces of information add additional stresses and raise a lot of additional questions. I don't have all the answers, but I hope these daily updates are giving you some information. Students, we've done our best to try to clarify some information to you about this SU option for some of your courses. You can check out the FAQ page on McGill's coronavirus website for some of this information, and you'll hear more details from your faculties in the coming days, because the application of this SU uh, option for you will vary a little bit depending on your program. Students should also be hearing from their instructors this week, if you haven't already, about the ways that your courses and assessments are being adjusted for the rest of the term. Staff, you might also have some questions about the way your work will have to be adjusted again or what it'll look like given the extension to many of McGill's normal operations through until May. The Emergency Operations Centre, the EOC, is working on this this very week and you'll certainly have news in the coming days about your own work. Speaking of working and learning in different ways, many of you are now adjusting to finding ways to work at home or wherever it is you're spending most of your time. You're now getting a glimpse of my new office here at my home. Uh, it looks out over part of my yard where I can see squirrels and birds uh, with some frequency. I don't know about you, but adjusting to a new way of working is challenging for everyone. And I'm, I've been commuting to work for so many years that it's, uh, it's a new way of, of coming to my office. It's tough for everybody, and I, I would only say that try to develop a, your own schedule, even if it's a different schedule than what you're used to. Try to be patient, especially if you're living in close quarters with a lot of your family members. Um, do try to find a little bit of space so you can be well, and, and always remember to be kind and patient with everybody. Also, maybe think about, I've been doing this as well, and getting up and putting on work clothes instead of just jogging pants, which is a good thing to do. And... Uh, really trying to make sure that you're up away from your desk sometimes as well. I don't know about you, but the kettle in our house seems to be going nonstop and we're drinking vast amounts of tea. I realize none of this is easy. And again, we're all doing our best. Let's be kind, let's be patient, uh, and it's stressful for everyone. And let's also just get used to our new way of, of uh, living and of learning. Stay well, everyone, and we'll talk to you again soon.